Okay, uh, this is an article, and I'm sorry, it's a little stained there. Uh, my, uh, cup of Mountain Dew fell over and leaked through the lid onto this, but, uh, this is, uh, Patrick Lynch. Uh, oh, about a dozen years ago, he was the Indiana director for Trimedics, uh, which is a, uh, Catholic, uh, biomed, uh, corporation that serves Ascension Health and some other hospitals. Um, yeah, Satan got me fired from that job, um, but I believe uh, now is the time for me to return there, and I'm hoping to uh, hear about uh, an interview for three jobs I put in for uh, last week. But anyway, um, I've gone through a uh, spiritual revelation in about the last six weeks, and I've made uh, a lot of mistakes uh, in assuming what uh, I've been shown, and um, I think now God has finally revealed what uh, is coming and what He wants me to do. Um, it's both, uh, he has both a beautiful mission for me, and unfortunately, I'm going to be in contact with evil, which I have been many times this month, uh, but that's going to be on my new channel, uh, Tamara Be About. Uh, but, uh, let's go back to, uh, Chief Do-Gooder. I only got to talk to Pat a, a few times, uh, usually at the biomed conferences, and um, got to talk to his wife a couple of times at, uh, I know one time was a Christmas party and there was another event we had uh, at Trimedics. Uh, his uh, wife is a lawyer, her, also, her name is also Pat, and uh, she works... Um, in the insurance industry, um, basically combating um, disability fraud. And they are both just the nicest people you'd ever want to know. Okay, but uh, currently, uh, Patrick Lynch um, has a ministry called um, Biomeds Without Borders. And they uh, go several times a year to uh, third world countries and uh, provide medical equipment to their hospitals, do repairs, and such. Um, and God has blessed me with ways that his ministry is going to be more effective, um, save electrical resources because these hospitals have very limited uh, electrical resources, and uh, save more children. Um, I'm hoping he'll be at the, uh, Indiana State Biomed, uh, conference later this month, but I've reached out to him through the, um, North Carolina Biomedical Association, because trust me, I can't find him on, on the web, and I've searched the name of his company, which is Lynch Consulting, uh, tried, uh, finding a website for, um, Biomeds Without Border, and all they have is a uh, YouTube page, so, yeah, but that guy found, found a way for me to uh, find him, so I expect to hear from him probably next week, because I'm sure he's uh, spending this uh, week enjoying his uh, wife and uh, grandkids. Um, this page is even more stained, and I apologize for this. But uh, this is a picture of a neonatal uh, ICU in uh, Guatemala. As you can see, that baby is very tiny. And we have a baby in an incubator. And uh, 
one of the ideas I have will eliminate uh, incubators in uh, third world countries and allow the baby to spend uh, nearly all of its time with uh, his mother, except, of course, when she's sleeping, which will be a blessing because uh, babies want to be near their mother, and mothers, they want to be near their babies, so... Uh, I will let you know, uh, what happens after I talk to Pat, and I'm hoping this year I am blessed to go on one of these missions. Uh, you do not have to be a biomedical technician, which is simply somebody who, uh, repairs medical equipment. Uh, if you know computers, especially, uh, networking, or, um, computers in general, or, uh, you, uh, know, uh, electronic repair... Um, they could use your help. Have a blessed day.